हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बी कवरिंग वन पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन व्हिच आई ट्राइड टू अवॉइड आई एंटिसिपेटेड इट बट आई डिड नॉट वांटेड टू मेक अ वीडियो ऑन दिस बिकॉज इट्स अ लिटिल कॉम्प्लिकेटेड एंड कंट्रोवर्शियल टॉपिक एंड द रीजन व्हाई आई एंटिसिपेटेड इट बिकॉज वी हैव three infantry heroes now in top commander as you can see right here the same goes for the our bullet the issue is um dls never said that there is going to be three cycles for any of the top commander uh he we can say hero type they still have two and now people have been asking okay which one should i pick if i have you know none of these which is a very valid question now the complication is everybody's gaming style is different everybody is everybody is not a you know garrison captain in the alliance or you know potentially a rally captain for that matter um so that being said since i received numerous questions regarding this and uh, in general now that we have a new uh you can say top commander see uh you can say i won't say sequence but a format uh ma now uh, selections can be made uh, which hero they wanna go for so the question comes out which one to go for so in this particular video i'm going to be covering infantry heroes since the infantry top commander is currently on and uh, i'm going to add disclaimer right now which i'm going to include in all three vid four videos basically so first of all they're going there's going to be around four videos on this topic and uh, again just keep in mind that uh, these are my opinions from my experience so far so if you don't like anything you don't have to really follow it just something that i've seen that i'm sharing with the with everybody and thirdly uh actually the third thing i already said which is i laid it in all four videos so let's get down to the points i have made some notes which i'm going to be reading and uh, making my suggestions one thing i do want to add though i'm not going to break down all the heroes i'm going to basically be covering two things about each hero what role they play in your team in your squad basically or in your alliance and what is their usability so these two things and you'll see what i mean by those two things first of all let's go for thunder thunder is like everybody know he is a op uh, garrison commander and uh, he is um, right now the best garrison hero you can have now that being said everybody is not going to be a garrison captain this particular hero is not good for field fights because he does not do any damage plus he's just going to keep on providing his heals which is going to uh apply on any lightly wounded troops and uh, if they get uh back in the field and get uh again you are in a fight so they'll get hit your hospital will fill up that much faster so he does provide good uh defense and uh hp buffs but again he does not provide anything that is going to really really help you on field like the way you can say adult would cause you need to somebody to be dealing damage anyway um so again not going to go in the breakdown so his main role is garrison and if in case somebody wants to use him on field you need to be pairing him with some hero that is again a uh, infantry type who deals really good damage and you want him longer to you want that squad to be on field just to tank and do damage while other squads are actually doing the actual killing of the enemy stuff and that comes to mind who you can pair him with 
नेक्स्ट वी हैव इज एडी नाउ एडी इज पर्टिकुलरली अ सीज कमांडर हु डज रियली वेल ऑन फील्ड आई हैव सीन हिम ऑन गैरेसन एज वेल बट अगेन इफ यू हैव टू इफ यू आर गोइंग टू बी अ गैरेसन कमांडर माइट एज वेल गो फॉर थंडर एंड नॉट एडी नाउ इफ यू आर दस If you are the rally captain in your alliance, you do need Eddie to run any kind of uh, siege infantry rally. Because of the sheer fact that he provides, if you have only infantry, counter damage increases by a lot, and he does have his own good amount of damage plus um, shield factor, and he does reduce HP of the enemy squad if the shield is broken. Good HP anyway. The point being. the reason why i don't recommend him on garrison because of the fact that this is one of his the skill that he is known for the amount of counter damage he can deal there is going to be somebody somebody in the team who is not going to listen and put something other than infantry inside that tower which is going going to make adi lose his counter damage ability right there in in your the rally you can control that you can launch potentially only infantry rally and make sure only infantry gets in so you can milk as much damage as you as you can uh from that particular rally of again on field you can definitely use him with infantry and most people don't like to hit him because of the fact of uh, high counter damage on him again if you're using him Uh, one thing i didn't wanted to mention in thunder if you using him on garrison he is a lead and uh, if on uh, field for whatever reason you want to put him on field don't put him on lead he is going to be a support to somebody who actually deals damage but i would not uh, recommend him being paired other than with adult that pair can work but yeah i would if i'm doing field fight i would rather pick eddy in that case in field he can be put uh, both as a lead or support most likely support be because he does not have his own rage building he has a defense tree instead of a skill tree so some pair him with somebody who can build rage better so that would be his use garrison i would not recommend it unless you can control the garrison to be only infantry next is our new hero riven I did do a breakdown video for her. I haven't done it for Eddie or Thunder. I'm still catching up on that. But I did uh, cover everything about her in detail. So I would say she is basically a garrison hero that can be used in counter rallies with Eddie. Cause she has two shields. He has one shield, and. Uh, his uh, awakened skill basically reduce hp if shield is broken with three shields going on something or the other will go up or will get broken plus when shield is up she gets gives uh, 27% extra damage counter damage which is going to add on to his 44 counter damage so pit um uh, and since counter rallies are going to be inside a lines this will give you extra defense from her side but again she is basically a, a garrison hero uh i would not recommend her on field because the moment she goes outside of the alliance she has no defensive ability of her own she will only do hp attack buff and her shields and stuff but no defense unless you're sending her with somebody just to do great amount of damage and then die on the field and kind of that kind of thing but that's not infantry is there for anyways let's come to the recommendations if you are a garrison commander in your team go for thunder if you are somebody who is a rally captain in your alliance go for eddy and she is basically a secondary to garrison than thunder if you have thunder awakened and you want another pair or another hero that you want to say a uh, pair him with on a garrison say if you have thunder awake and you are a garrison captain and most likely you will have another hero that is going to deal damage and you have him in support say for example most people use louis and uh, say jacob 
now we have uh, miyamoto i'm going to talk about him soon so they have quite a few options for support hero with uh, thunder riven can be another good one she has insane amount of damage but if you want a second pair you can pair him with zagoro and zagoro will be lead she'll be in support in that case to actually have potentially a second pair of garrison if you are somebody who just to field fights because most people are not going to be garrison captain or early captains which one to pick for go for eddy he'll help you on field more than uh the man and thunder you can pair him with practically any infantry hero and that will work for you better okay with that being said let's go to our roulette heroes i can see roulette heroes here all these three are roulette heroes let's uh, talk about uh, it at first she is a field hero always a field hero i have never seen her on a garrison before but obviously because there are bad bad of he- heroes that are equipped for being on garrison she is not one of them she is a field hero in infantry and she is awesome at it if you don't if you're a field fighter like everybody f- does field fighting get her if you don't have her you need to get her so that's she is going to be the primary pick i can totally say it right away between uh, now robert basically is a is a siege hero siege infantry outside of it uh, he does not have even one skill that offer any kind of defense he just deals damage and on garrison to be precise we have better heroes who can deal damage and uh, i would say somebody somebody can say that uh, hp reduction is a good one on him and he deals extra damage to hp reduced targets but again i would rather have him in an infantry rally, leading an infantry rally rather than replacing lewis with him on garrison that won't happen i wouldn't use him on field either so he is a meh in that case i am basically i don't even have him on weekend i most likely won't be i would rather go with doichi in that case now doichi is a field hero and he is a garrison hero you should not he can potentially be in rallies as well i can see why the reason being he has two skills that give 20% chance during counter attack to reduce enemy's hp and a uh, skill damage by 27 and 28% if you swarm him the chances of counter attacks increases which increases this ability to go off even more there is no timer on in, on this anyway so it can happen multiple times uh this particular debuff that he can provide on the enemy squad is really good on top of his insane damage that he do in aoe he has good amount of attack buff that he can potentially give so on field he can be used fairly well he does not have i would say does not have any defense he has very low defense i think it's only 20% or so if i'm not wrong yeah so only have 20% da- uh, defense buff so pairing him with somebody who can actually have good defense would be a good idea so what sequence i would recommend i would say go for a dart first if you don't have her then do it and then if you still want to go for robert you can just again it's a controversial topic i personally don't find much use of robert i have five squads which means i can put out 10 heroes i have better 10 heroes or better pair five pairs uh and robert has he doesn't come in that those 10 or in any of the five squads that i have prepared for myself in any situation uh in pompa you have a different gameplay um in island you have a different gameplay in that regard it doesn't fit and just is my gaming style if it, if it fits for you good for you with that i think i did cover all the infantry ones and uh next video is going to going to be about riders the same way and uh i really appreciate you guys watching my videos and really appreciate the people who asked me this question and uh, kind of encouraged me to make this series of videos so really appreciate you guys and i will see you guys in the next one very soon